Hello, patrons of the Oregsburg Library. It's time for summer reading to start. This will be our first book, so it is called Birds of a Feather, written by Sita Singe, illustrated by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman, and this is a Philomel book. One spring morning, the Himalayan jungle welcomed a new generation of peachicks, including one named Mo. Each one was covered in a yellow coat or brown feathers. Mo and his friends roosted high and low, caught ticks and termites, and screeched loud into the night. Mo loved to roost, hunt, and screech, but what he loved most of all was playing hide and seek. By the second summer, each peachick donned a crest. They grew flight feathers, tail feathers, fluff, fluff, fluff. Some had short tails, some had long, and all the long-tailed peachicks turned into peacocks with bright, bold, beautiful colors. All except Mo. Mo looked different. From the top of his crest to the tip of his tail, his feathers shone white. Mo didn't mind. The peacocks still did everything together. But as time went on, hide and seek wasn't quite as much fun as it used to be. Mo could not hide like the others. He didn't have bright, bold, beautiful feathers. Mo looked different, and he began to feel different too. But his friends did what friends do. You're still a peacock. Don't think about it. You'll be fine. Birds of a feather groom together. Mo shook off his worries. He was glad to belong to such a great group of peacocks. Soon the jungle announced its biggest day, the annual dance in the rain. The young peacocks couldn't wait to show off. First rain, first dance. They flocked to the color salon. They flew to the bird boutique. All the peacocks pranced. They admired themselves, all except Mao. Even with a fluff and a trim, Mo's feathers were no match for the others. He looked different, Mo felt different, and now he also felt alone. But his friends did what friends do. You're still a peacock. Colors don't make the bird. You can do this. Let's learn the dance. Neck tight, feathers loose, spread your tail. Stretch. Stretch, stretch, feathers swung open. The peacocks strutted, they swayed, colors swirled all around. Mo's friends shouted, go, Mo, go. But all Mo heard was, no, Mo, no. However hard he tried, he only saw what he didn't have, bright, bold, beautiful feathers. Mo looked different, Mo felt different, he felt alone, and now he felt sad too. On the big night, everyone gathered to welcome the first rain. Everyone except Mo. Mo watched from a place in the trees. Soon, black clouds took over the sky and raindrops hit the ground. The peacocks were ready for their dance, but there was just one problem. It was too dark to see. The peacocks bumped into one another. They stepped on one another's trains. Their feathers rumpled and ruffled. Everyone was in a foul mood. Then thunder crashed and lightning flashed. Suddenly, Mo noticed a bright and brilliant glow. He straightened his slouch and loosened his wings. He looked all around until he realized the glow was coming from him. Right away, Mo took flight. In a swoop, he lit up the ground. Yes, Mo is different, but now saw Mo now saw what he'd had all along. Bright, bold, beautiful feathers, and his crest felt like a crown. As lightning flashed, the hip hoppers croaked. He glows like the snow. The belly dancers trumpeted. He's as bright as a lotus. The rock and rollers roared, but we still can't see. Mo knew just what to do. He stood tall. He strutted and swayed. Then he fluttered his feathers and swung them open. He's so bright. As Mo danced, light flickered. It flashed, the jungle glowed bright. At last, everyone could see. The peacocks fanned their feathers and danced together. 
Sounds of celebration echo throughout the jungle. Mo smiled. He flaunted his plume as wide as he could. On and on he danced, on and on. Mo called to the sky. Thee hunk, thee hunk, thee hunk. That's his honking sound. That night, the rains didn't stop and neither did Mo. And when his friends shouted again, he heard them loud and clear. Go, Mo, go. The end. So there's also some fun facts about peacocks, and we do have other books about peacocks and plenty of other animal books. Stop into the library. We have a craft bag that goes with this story. So don't miss out on summer reading at the Orygsburg Area Free Public Library. Have a great day.